So we saw with the cascode amplifier, uh, cascode current source, that we had a problem with the size of the voltage that it requires to keep the, the current source in saturation. So the solution that we have is that we're going to try and place an extra VT drop in our loop so that we can reduce the necessary voltage to two VOVs. That's what we're going to try and get. And the way that we would ostensibly do that is to try and place some kind of voltage drop that was equal to a VT in this loop. And if we were able to do that, we would see that we would only need one VOV across this transistor. and one VOV across this transistor. You know, again, summing the voltages up to this point, we would see plus a VOV plus VT, plus VOV plus VT, H, I should say, VTH, minus a VTH, minus a VOV plus VTH, gets us to one VOV here. Now, how would we generate a VTH? So one way we might do it is you can imagine if we have a transistor and we run a current through that transistor, we know that the voltage from the gate to the source is equal to VOV plus VTH. So we would see a VTH if we could drive VOV equal to zero. So let's look at how we might drive VOV equal to zero, or at least to a very small value. We know that VOV is equal to the square root of 2 ID over mu n c ox times W over L. So one way to drive VOV equal to zero is, or close to zero, is to run a very small current through a very large transistor. And of course, if we did that in the limit, if the current was going, it was approaching zero while the width over length ratio was a, uh, approaching a very large number, we would see VOV go to zero. But of course, this isn't a very good solution. We need a very large current, and it's also very difficult to generate small, uh, sorry, we need a, a very large transistor, which eats up size on the uh, on the die, and it's also difficult to create these small currents. So we don't want to rely on producing very large transistors. Especially when we're doing it just for bias generation. We'd like to try and make our bias generation take up very small areas and use very little power. So the solution that we're going to look at is to just live with the VT over V shift, and we're going to add another transistor into the loop. So we're going to use the following circuit. We're going to add this extra transistor and current source into the loop, and our, cas our cascode current source output is going to be over here. Uh, 
All right, so here's our output I.O. coming through devices M1 and M2. So what we did was add M5 and M6, and we're going to use that to get a, VT, uh, get a VT plus VOV drop. Okay, so what we want so, uh, when we go around the loop is for this voltage to equal VT plus 2VOV. So this transistor is going to have a VT plus a VOV across it. This transistor is going to have a VT plus a VOV. So what we need in this loop then is for transistor M4 to have a VTH plus 2 VOV. And anywhere I've written VT, it's supposed to be VTH. Just make a note of that. So now if we were to come around this KVL loop through the following path to this node, we would see that we would only need one VOV. So we'd go VTH plus VOV plus VTH plus 2 VOV minus VTH plus VOV minus VTH plus VOV is equal to, let's see, we have these VTHs canceling each other out. Oops, this is minus that quantity. And what we'd see is that we'd have one VOV left. And that's what we'd have across transistor M1. Okay, so the question is, how do we make the VOV of transistor M4 twice as large as the other VOVs? So we could say that VOV of transistor M4 is equal to the square root of 2 times its drain current divided by UN C ox times W over L4. And we know that this is equal to twice the VOV of transistor M1, for instance. So this would be 2 times the square root of 2 times ID divided by mu N C ox times W over L1. And if we solve for the ratio of W over L1 to W over L4, we would see that we would need W over L4 to be one-fourth the size of W over L1 or any of the other transistors. We're assuming that all the transistors except for M4 have the same VOV. M4 is the only one that has a smaller, that has a larger VOV, which means that we need to make the transistor smaller. So this is our solution in order to achieve a higher overall output swing. We add this extra transistor M5 and M6. This gives us an extra VT plus VOV drop, and we just compensate by changing the size of M4 to give us a larger VOV relative to all the other transistors. And all the M1 needs across it to stay saturated now is a VOV. And you would see that our V out min is now equal to twice VOV instead of tw twice VOV plus a VT.